how's it going guys um yeah in light of the latest video release the old velvet stags and uh and chamois bucks the four day um fjordland epic video that we just chucked up we've had quite a few questions about the new tribus tent here um so we'll give them one of those from bushbuck to just trial out on that mission and see how it goes and give them a bit of a feedback and um We've had quite a few questions on the, the setup and the layout and how it looks on the inside and features and, and what we think in bits and pieces. So I just thought I'd chuck it up on the lawn here, take you right through the whole process, show you on the inside. Um, yeah, make a start on that. So just to give you a bit of a size comparison here, we've got the Solo, the Horizon and the Tribus. And um, for three, the Horizon, which has been the most popular tent till now, and the Tribus anyway. So. I'm sure it's a little bit bulkier, but um, and yeah, it weighs a little bit more. But the size benefits and the extra room that you get from this tent, it's certainly worth it. We don't take this out on a mission and uh, at, at the two-man tent, and both of us sleep in it anyway. We normally take two of them, one each. Certainly better if you take one of these and split it up half in, in, in each pack. Uh, it gives you a hell of a lot more room, and it's a lot lighter to carry it that way as well. So. Um, you save on weight, you save on bulk, and you have a lot more room and a bigger tent to actually sleep in for two people or three. So that's worked really well for me and Aaron. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, set it up for you on the lawn here. I'll set up the fly, I'll put the footprint down, I'll do the inner and we'll walk through the whole, the whole tent setup. Okay, so there goes the fly set up. Um, so that's cool, that's nice and easy. Um, one of the great things about this tent actually is you, you build it, you start from the fly uh, first and then you build the inside out. So say you get to your campsite and it's pouring with rain, um, you're miserable day out on the hill or whatever, you can leave the inner and the uh, footprint inside your bag, you can pull out the fly poles set that up and then you can climb inside with your gear and you can build the rest of the tent from the inside all closed up or out of the weather so that's really great that's a great feature um, obviously you can use it as just a fly shelter if you wanted to go ultra light with a heap of room you'd be able to sleep um, probably four or five guys in there i reckon just under the fly might be tight with five but you definitely get four in there no problem at all and uh, if your mate has an injury out on the field perhaps and um, you can't move him, well you can build the tent over the top of him without actually having to move the guy, so uh, that's brilliant. But anyway, so some other features that I really like are the wee storm flaps at the, on the sides here. So any weather runs down the tent, hits these flaps and, and they just pe peels off onto the grass there. So that just gives you that little bit of extra protection. Yeah, which is, uh, which is great. And we found when it was windy, those didn't seem to blow um, underneath the tent as well. So you got a vent on the back. A couple more guy ropes I could have chucked up, but um, there's no need just for the review. You got a big vent on the, the front there as well. And the double doorway. So one thing we really liked about the double doorway system is obviously um, when you get your tent up and you and your mate you're getting your gear set up inside your sleeping bags your uh, your bed mats and bits and pieces if you've only got the one access point then you're getting in each other's way so old mate has to linger back until you're done and then he can get in there or whatever so you've got a doorway each so you can both be um, packing or unpacking your gear without being in each other's way if the weather's coming from the uh, the other side and sort of blowing in towards the tent, you can keep that far door closed and you can just use this one here and it keeps you a little bit more sheltered from the weather as well. So here's a look at the inside. First of all, the, the very large vestibule here. So that's it there. This is just fly only of course so over here is where the um, 
the ground sheet or the footprint goes and then you build the uh, inner of the tent up in here so this is obviously where you sleep you can get three blokes in there no problem at all and you pin your inner up to all these little pinpoints or hooks clip everything into the wee clips in the corner Yeah, nice so this is me sitting on the inside of the uh the inner of the tent when we put it up but anyway it's sizable man obviously i can sit up here and have a whole heap of headroom so you can you know you can really stretch your arms and your legs around and put your tops on and um yeah you can really make a fuss in here if you like and not have to worry too much about getting in uh, each other's way so it's brilliant it really is sizable Okay, so there it goes, all set up. And on the footprint uh, down, all pinned up in its little pinpoints. I'll climb on in here. Yeah. So there we go. Whole thing set up. As you can see, Still a lot of room in here. And yeah, oh, it's just a wee bit windy here at the moment, but um, yeah, you can quite easily sleep three people in here, no problem at all. Um, we found it really comfortable with two. So Aaron on one side, me on the other side, a bit of gear in the middle, so there's no roll together. But that gave us a heap of room on the inside for getting changed, um, storing some gear down the side of our sleeping bags and mats and things. If we had to or your phones or your you know your cameras and things that you might want to access at night time if you want to watch the old movie or whatever um so you got your vent out the back here it's got a little hanging hook for uh maybe your torch or something if you're lying down this way while you're reading at night um each side has its own little pocket there a couple of wee pockets in there same on the other side so you can store your phone and your bits and pieces there that's pretty standard And that's it, so it's really good. Um, looking up at the vestibule here. Now this room here is quite sizable. I mean, you could sleep another, yeah, a couple of people in there, I reckon. Um, what we did is we had all of our gear on the far wall here, down the back wall. The guns, the backpacks, you'll see that in the video there anyway. And then, um, Aaron Struan and myself, we could lie in here in the morning and we could have our coffees and our morning breakfast and bits and pieces. Um, either hiding from the sun or the wind, the rain, whatever, it was just a really good chill out point. We could all coop up in there, no worries, have a good yarn, have a brew and um, yeah, and just chill out for a bit. So it was really nice having that extra room. Um, one of my biggest peeves is, sure I like to carry a light tent and I don't like it to be too bulky, but when I get on the tops, what I really want is a big tent with a lot of room um, to store your gear and keep everything out of the weather and then you've got a lot of uh, space to move around and cook and prepare in bits and pieces so this tent certainly offers that yeah and like I say if you break it down into two um, to, uh, we'll halve it into two packages then it only weighs about a kilo and a half each um, probably less and this is what you get when you're up on the hill there so that's about it um, yep We've only had it out on the, the one four day trip, but we got um, pretty good uh, winds up on the tops there. Um, we got a couple of days of good rain as well. And we stayed warm and dry the whole time. Um, the tent didn't blow away or anything like that. Obviously you've got to have it orientated um, into the wind. So you keep your vestibule facing into the wind and, uh, and then the rest of it sort of out the back there and it seemed to hold it, held up really well. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's about all I can say about it so far so good and we'll get it out on uh we've got a couple of couple of missions coming up now we've got a stripping stag mission coming up i think in the next 10 days or so 
if the weather plays its part we'll get out and about and we'll take the tribus uh, with us as well and um yeah we'll give it another crack out there and, and see how we go but so far so good yep i'm sure this is going to be a winner eh? as soon as it um hits the shelves should be pretty popular so yeah cheers for watching guys and um yeah if you like some of the videos that you've seen or whatever um chuck a bit chuck a a like on the um or a thumbs up on the like button there and maybe subscribe if you want to watch some further hunting adventures yep cheers team smoking barrels <laughs>